Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another toy review and today I'm reviewing a brown box which it's mispronounced here. It says Artfire and Nightstick. It's actually Canadian Inferno and he's paired up with Nightstick which is uh, weird because Nightstick was uh, the target master, well the Nebulon target master uh, in the rebirth for Cyclonus. The boys are coming, Nightstick! I hope you like busted heads! Yeah! And I checked a bit of um, uh, TF Wiki, and apparently there was some toy confusion in Japan where uh, he was uh, supposed to be uh, uh, like uh, they renamed Fracas Nightstick and then put him with Artfire, and then IDW did uh, no, and then Dreamwave did something, uh, and it got more confusing. So, whatever, I have Nightstick and Canadian Inferno. Artfire was never in the show, everybody was expecting a grapple repaint into Holler. Holler! Pull him up! Which I think now has been leaked recently, but um, don't quote me on that. But Artfire is just a repaint of uh, Inferno, so they, they took some uh, you know red parts and put them white. Uh, so I'm calling him Canadian Inferno. I don't care. That's what it. Uh, that's what he is to me. Um, there's I, I haven't read on the character I just thought it was a, a, a cool paint job because of uh, the, you know the Canadian reference that I see in it um, and my son picked it up for me from DJC collectibles uh, my favorite store when uh, it was my birthday so I'm super happy to have him uh, you know he comes with blast effects and everything uh, which will end up in a bag but it, there I didn't have those models so you know it's it's fun to mess around with these things we're gonna take a look at this figure, but before I do, please check my voice acting playlist, uh, something I'm proud of because it's the main feature of my channel, because some of the voice acting in War for Cybertron was so terrible that it prompted me to start a channel to show you guys about uh, the good voice acting we had back in the 80s, so uh, please check it out. So without further delay, uh, let's roll the intro and take a look at Canadian Inferno. Out of the box, Canadian Inferno looks really good, but let's take a look at the instruction, which I know you guys like. It's pretty much the same thing as we got with uh, Inferno, except that now you have the uh, nightstick uh, information. So, you know, both sides are colored the same way. It's fantastic. The blast effect, I didn't have any of these effects, so I'm happy to add them to my bag of blast effects. Really good. Uh, they peg really well. And of course, they're compatible with everything, so it's a plus. Uh, the box, Generation Select, it's plain brown, again, misspelled Canadian Inferno, weird. Uh, yep, it's a brown box. And then just before the uh, actual figure, you have the gun, which is the same as you got with Grapple and Inferno. So, but he shoots Canadian rounds. So You have Nightstick which was originally paired with Cyclonus. That's the thing, this thing always on pegs, so you have to be careful with it. Uh, transformation is simple, just fold them over. But yeah, Nightstick used to be uh, paired up with uh, Cyclonus. He's a really good uh, target master, actually looks like a good robot. Now let's leave him here. And then you have Canadian Inferno, looks really good. I think he looks better in robot mode than he does in alt mode because, it, I don't know, maybe the color scheme doesn't translate super well, but uh, you have the same uh, head wings or something. Uh, it's the same molded detail, it's a straight repaint, maybe a different shade of red, uh, definitely a different shade of white. I uh, love the translucent blue and you have the same articulation as you would get. Uh, it could rotate here but it's really tight. I'm not gonna force it, but it's really good. You have the 360 spin like a Ferris wheel. You have the uh, articulation uh, under the shoulder. You have the elbow band. Uh, the hand doesn't move. More common than I thought this would be. Uh, you have the 360 waist. There we go around. Split him like a log. 
really good. Uh, the 90 degree bend. Uh, you have a rotation at the hip. Uh, the foot will have a good rocker. And then you have some articulation because of transformation. If you want to do some weird pose, you actually can with this guy. So articulation wise, pretty good. Big cable in the back. And then the head, it's really clipped on pretty good when you start. But the more you play with it, the looser it gets. So eventually it doesn't really stand well. So maybe he's one of those robots that you don't want to transform too often. But the transformation is actually really fun. So, you know, dilemma. Now let's do some uh, size comparison. Oh, one thing I forgot. He does, he does come with the same hose head that you can plug in one of the hands. But since he has two rifles, I'm probably just going to leave that there and uh, not worry about it. All right, so here's Nightstick with Frenzy, uh, Big Daddy, or I don't know, it's the Autobot, uh, the black and white car. This guy won't freaking stand, so never mind him. Eject and the uh, little guy that came with Omega Supreme. So stick, it scales pretty well. And here we have Inferno with Rezi Alcane, my custom figure from input. Generation selects Galvatron. And here's the money shot with Inferno, Grapple, and Canadian Inferno. And they look all really good together. I just ordered the Toy Axe decal for Grapple. And if I like them, these two are gonna get the same treatment. And here is Canadian Inferno dual wielding nightstick and his gun, ready for battle to kick some Decepticons butt. But now we're gonna take a look at transformation. So what you wanna do is remove the accessory, of course. Straighten them out. All right, so uh, first thing first, you wanna take the feet and then pull it this way and push it down like this. And here you go. Simple as that, but you've you've seen it, you know it. And honestly, I think these are more ambulances colors. Um, the white and the red, it looks good, but doesn't really bring out the fire truck. Unless in another part of the world, this is how they're painted, then I'm guessing it's spot on. But I still really like the actual mold. The transformation is fun. The details on the truck are pretty good. The windows are, and the headlights are really good. Uh, you do see a bit of stuff inside, but it's not robot cable. It's just kind of empty. He could have put some seats in there for details, you know, for kids, more playability. If you can see a seat, then it's more robots in disguise. Of course, Nightstick technically is driving right now, or he's shooting on top, but there's no real way to, you know, put him in uh, robot mode and have him uh, drive. You know, you can set him on top of the cab, but that's... You know, that's about it. Let's go back there. Uh, this extends here, and it's actually really tight. Ah, there you go. But good clip, look, good extension. This, they actually fixed a couple things from Inferno. My Inferno here, this is really loose. So now this is tighter. And this, it's a triple fix. When they did grapple, the clips for the legs were super tight, and most of them broke off. That happened to me, I had to return a grapple. Inferno, they fix it, and it was, on my copy anyway, a little too loose. This one, perfect fit. So, kudos Hasbro, took you three times. Uh, you know, under you see a lot of legs. Uh, but I like the details, those accessory here. I always forgot to mention those, but they're pretty tight in, but they come unattached and then you just plug them in here. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good, uh, good mode. I know that non-F and other third party have upgrade kits to make them look uh, even better, but I don't really do upgrade kits. Um, well, it's not true. I'm waiting for an order from Firetox. So I do more accessories than upgrade kits. But anyway, let's do some comparison. Let's just place him here, remove nightstick, and let's see what he looks like against Earthrise Smokescreen, one of my wife's favorite colored uh, robot and alt mode probably uh, but uh, when we were shopping she actually commented on this transformer saying he looks really good and honestly she never does that kingdom slammer and kingdom pterosaur because he was already transformed and of course the next money shot where you can uh, see uh, the three uh, brothers well not brothers but the three mold mates uh, together and uh, yeah I think it uh, looks uh, really good of course grapple being the original uh, you know, suffered from the pegging problem, but uh, 
I actually sanded mine, so they're removable. I'm still very careful with it, though. But, you know, all weapon pegs at the same place. Uh, the only thing is that Grapple has that uh, great accessory. I never really display him with the hook. It's always with the big uh, uh, claw. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to remove him, though, because I want to compare colors. Uh, yes, you heard right. The colorblind guy is going to compare color. And it is a different shade of red. If you can... Actually, let's move this. And it's a slightly different shade of red. Even I can spot this. There's more paint on uh, Canadian Inferno, really. Uh, you know, you have the black on the shoulders. Uh, you got nothing here. And then, you, of course, you have all the white. Uh, but then all the accessories are the same. Oh, I reversed the, uh, the hose. And I don't know which one is good. Uh, they fit, so who cares? Um, yeah, and then you have black here. And then just full red on this part here. Uh, both are awesome. And see, this is what I mean. Here, he's a little too loose. Like, he doesn't peg. Like I said, uh, he doesn't peg. And then uh, this one here, he pegs perfectly. So both great molds so let me put this all back together because my screen fell and uh give you my final thoughts and here we are back from transformation and he looks amazing with all the blast effects applied he's really ready to kick some decepticons butt and i love him canadian inferno was a great addition to my collection i'm super happy to have him it's a gift from my oldest thanks alex i really appreciate this awesome uh, gift and uh, it's gonna look great on the shelf thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care